Oh, mate. oh man, he's not happy, but too much to drink as well. Look at him. No. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are on yet another walk. Woohoo! And today, this was my walk, so this one's put all the blame on me if it goes wrong. <laughs> no idea where we're going. Well, I do roughly. Not the exact route though. No. So we're starting off in the, I think it's a village, is it? Of Hucking? Something like that. In Kent. Hucking with a H. With a H, not an F. <laughs> um, and we'll take you along with us. So, shall we get going? Let's do it. Let's do it. Currently doing a bit of a hill. We discovered that we walk like idiots when walking downhill. How do you walk downhill? <laughs> do you walk like an idiot like us, or like Show us your best like picket fence? Walk, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> it's only a slight gradient. It's ten percent this one, so it's not too bad. Thankfully, we picked the right way to go down instead of up. However, it probably means we're going to have to go up at some point on this walk. Hopefully it's just a little less steep on the other side when we climb back up. This one over here is obsessed with tree tunnels. They are quite a majestic thing. A natural, I say natural, it's probably lorries and stuff making it, but still very, very cool. So we have just arrived at the Hook and Hatch in the Hucking. In the Hucking. In the Hucking. <laughs> um, a beautiful, beautiful local country pub. Right We're so on the sad edge. it's closed. It's we really are. good. We love it in there, don't we? They right. do really good food. Amazing food, amazing really drinks, food. great service. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful outside space, gardens and benches. It is even a place here to park your horse yes, when you finish going along the bridleways. They're very dog friendly too, so you can come for a meal with your little doggy Absolutely. pals. Make sure when these guys are open, make sure you come along, share them some love because they are awesome. They are. Hook and hatchet right on the edge of the Hucking Estate. Make sure you come along and say hi. Welcome to Pudding Dane Woods. Oh, Pudding Dane? Oh no, Dane, definitely Dane. Pudding Dane Woods. <laughs> Don't think we're cutting through that one. We're, we're going around it. We're going around it. Yep. Up over there, round to the left. Um, and then we'll see where that takes us. Come on along. That made no sense. Enjoy. Okay guys, we've got to another way marker on our trip today and MJ has a new friend. Oh, mate, the He's the, called the Shepherd. <laughs> I'll give you a better view. He's currently being treated like Santa Claus by MJ. <laughs> he also doesn't look very happy at all. Look at this mug. Crack a smile, mate. Oh man. He's not happy, but he should be. Because look at this, guys. 
I'll go slow so you can get the full effect of it. Oh. This is his view. It's amazing. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna talk you through what we can see on our lovely viewpoint up here. So just off in the distance over there is um, the village of Beersted, or Bearsted, I don't know how you say that actually. <laughs> um, which leads on to the bigger town of Maidstone, which some of you might have heard of. If we scroll across a little, there's a little tiny village called Luce, which we've done a lovely walk in before and which we'll go back to in the summer because it's beautiful down there. And then just over this way, and we think just behind the hill that's just cropping in with the lovely pylon on top, is Leeds Castle, which again is just beautiful. And we will definitely go there again at some point. And then if we carry on through, which we're gonna be in a minute, we'll go towards Hollingbourne, which is our next stop. We're just grabbing a quick bourbon break. <laughs> Healthy eating. Oh yeah. But while we're here, with our mate the shepherd, we just wanted to say a huge thanks to Day Hughes Hikes for his shout out in one of his last videos. Mm -hmm. If you don't know who Day is, he's an awesome guy. Great videos, great content. We'll uh, put a link to him in the description down below. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go and give him a like, subscribe, and check out his videos. Well, that was a fail. Yep. <laughs> so we are currently in another woodland area called Forestall Wood. And the day that we release this video, it will actually be World Forestry Day or International Day of Forestry or something. <laughs> um, so we thought we would get ourselves out to a forest for our walk this week. It's beautiful. Sun has just come out. This little area is really cool. There's old man's beard like flowing down from the tops of trees looks like a waterfall in the sun and you can just about see pile on there in another one of my fave tree tunnels so pretty i love how the sun comes through the trees What? Me. What's over here? I think you'll be able to see in a minute. Oh look! It's a bloody great big pile! <laughs> so majestic! <laughs> look at the majestic pile on in its natural settings. And his friends that carry on through the countryside there with the sheep. Just beautiful. Stunning. <laughs> a majestic pile on. Stop saying majestic. Hashtag majestic. So, we're currently uh, walking down Pilgrim's Way we towards are. Hollingbourne. We are. And there is a distinct issue right now. Yep. Our nasal passages are being violated <laughs> by the stench of excrement. Yes. Not like farming turd or anything like that. It, it smells. <laughs> Horrendous. Like, I almost gagged just now because it like, I felt like I'd eaten it. That's disgusting. It's not nice. It's not pleasant. I need a peg. The I scenery peg is gorgeous. <laughs> but trust me, you don't want scratch and sniff for this video. <laughs> Think yourselves lucky that it's not smell of vision yet, guys. <laughs> so we are still on Pilgrim's Way on our way to Hollingbourne. And this route is the route that obviously the pilgrims used to take from, I think, Winchester in Hampshire. All 120 miles of it, wasn't it? 120 miles. 120 miles to Canterbury, 
we are not going that far today. <laughs> Thank goodness. But they must have been crazy. Sorry. I'm cutting around. I thought I heard a car coming up behind us. It's paranoid. There's no car. See? Bikes. Oh, bikes. <laughs> Guys, we've just noticed there's a little elf on a log. He's not on his shelf. And he looks like he's had a bit too much to drink as well. Look at him. <laughs> That's really cool. So we've got to Hollingbourne very briefly and now we're heading back onto the North Downs Way or up towards it I believe um, for the next part of our journey which is going to start taking us back up to where we started in Hucking. Uh oh. <laughs> this could be interesting. <laughs> we are heading just through that way and up a dry Niagara's hill in a minute so you're probably going to see how unfit we are aren't they? Going Rog? to die! <laughs> we should have checked the terrain properly. Come on, it's good for us. We can have thighs of steel at the end of this. Let's go! <laughs> okay, <sighs> okay, that hurt the legs <laughs> and the lungs. Look at this view. But it's worth it. Bloody beautiful. Collectively, about 20 times, <laughs> would you? Easy. Through that little section. Easy. But it's always fun and games. <laughs> what are you doing? We're just trying to figure out which wood we're in because there's about five that kind of converge in this area. But it's quite tricky because the map. I've got shaded woods and Google Maps that show the scale R does not have the woods on them, which is really annoying. So, where have you figured out so far? I haven't. Okay, we'll check back in when we, when we know where we are. <laughs> I figured out where we were. <laughs> so we're on a route that takes us in between two woods. This one here is London Wood, apparently. <clears throat> and this one over this side is Smokes Wood. And they're all part of the Hucking Estate, which we started at this morning. And Hucking. we're heading off there now. We are, heading back So there. it is International Forestry Day on Sunday. Which is this was, releasing this video. Which is when this is coming so out. Today. So today. <laughs> Um, to basically encourage countries around the world to look after their forests, invest the in them, celebrate them, do events, uh, bits and pieces, try and get the local people involved and educate them about their woodlands and their natural space around them. Yeah. Um, this theme every, <coughs> theme every year, and this particular year's theme is all about restoration and looking after um, the forest around you. And one of the things I would say, because we've seen quite a lot of this on, thankfully not on today's walk, but on some of our previous walks, a lot of litter. Yeah. Um, thankfully not on this not one. Not even just that, like fly tipping. Is really like horrendous rare. fly tipping and, and litter. But and it's always in areas like this that are a bit more remote. But if you can, don't do it. <laughs> a, don't do it because just why would you even? Yeah. Um, but B, if you are out and about, have a spare bag with you and just pick up some few little bits. Look after the area around you. Leave before we know, behind. it will go. Leave nothing behind. back in the actual hucking estate now in their woodland and when I was looking at this place up in a bit more detail yesterday they were saying that the forest behind me here 
is actually really great for bluebells in April to May, I think. So we're probably going to pop back here in a couple of months and get those bluebells for you as well. We are nearing the end of our walk now. The car park is literally just a stone's throw away over there. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. It's been a really good walk today, hasn't it? It's been phenomenal. The views really, have been really incredible. The shepherd showed us the way earlier on. He sure did. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this walk, please make sure you hit that like button. Give us a like, guys. <laughs> and if you want to see more, hit subscribe and ring that bell. Follow us along on the next one. Follow us along and we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 So we're back again we just got to the car park and something very strange has happened to our car since we've been walking hasn't it not a bad thing not a bad thing but we're a bit confused there was something on the sticking out the back of the boot sticking out the back it? of the boot around the bumper area i thought it was a receipt or something yeah, something around, like wasn't there before no and it was a very muddy very muddy 10 pound note 10 pound note we can only so, assume someone thinks that we dropped it yeah. by our car and has very kindly put it back to our car. Because it was definitely like put underneath the edge of the boot, yeah. wasn't it? it was, so it's it stayed quite there. crisp. It's very crisp. Jane Austen won't be happy that she's no. got mud on her face. Or the Queen. Or the Queen. But uh, whoever so it was. We're quid in. <laughs> thanks, a, thanks a billion for being honest, even though it wasn't ours. But no. What should we do with it? Thanks very much. Well, I'm going to go and get a McDonald's. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> You go down to the woods today. <laughs> One thing you'll learn about me is that I know no words to songs or tunes. No, you don't. But if you go down to the woods tonight, <laughs> you'll blow up today. You're in for a big surprise. You're in for a big surprise. Switch it on. <laughs>